No, right, all right, all right, Eugene Backyard Repair here for another. Here we got ourselves a Mighty Mac Compost Shredder Grinder. Uh, I've had this for a while. It's been sitting in the yard since uh, whew, early spring, I think it was. Uh, customer had done some work for uh, so he had a shredder that was sh shredder chipper. Chipper's right here uh, for the branches. Uh, I can see, yeah. Uh, for and then the top, top. I want to bring it up. Top up there is for uh, putting the leaves in. Anyway, so uh, says uh, father had this uh, did some fabrication work. <laughs> uh, we can see here we got a fabricated heat shield, uh, which I don't understand it because the muffler is quite a, oh that's because it's exiting out the side. So instead of putting an elbow on it and facing the lower, uh, I'm guessing that's not the original engine. This is probably from the 80s. Can't tell you exactly because there's no dates on this. But anyway, so I'm guessing that's what this is. Yeah, the exhaust probably went out the side on the original. Which I don't understand if this is a two bolt flange. Why well, you can't turn the muffler, but I don't know. Uh, that's not that's not a big issue anyway. Uh, we don't even know where it runs. So it's been sitting outside for a long, long time. Uh, missing an air filter cover, see that? Maybe I'll go fabricate one or all it off Amazon. It's not like it's a big deal. It doesn't, doesn't have to, it's got to filter on, so that's all that matters. Uh, don't know if they're fueling. <laughs> don't, like I said, it's just been sitting outside. Don't know much about it. If there's something in here, it's probably, it's probably real yummy right now. Oh my. Oh my. Dude, look at that. That's a stinker. Oh. Ugh. All right, cat. Yeah, it can't be that complicated. Two years. Oh, that's because this cup's got to line up with the holes. If not, he can't. Oh my. Great design, Honda. Got a Honda GX160. Guessing that's 160 cc's. Anyway, uh, yeah, that uh, that guess is uh, is uh, quite the smell. Nah. I feel shut off here. Thing that way's on. This way. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. The fuel looks like it's on too. All right, we're going to uh, we're going to move this air filter. Dang! It's been on there for quite some time. And uh, we're going to remove this cover. Oh, this is a. Uh, you watched my video on the, I think it was a Coleman, uh, no, what was that? It wasn't, it was a Warrior. Uh, I had the same, same tank setup, except for a, I had a Chinese knockoff of this engine. Matter of fact, the gas tank for that one's uh, up there on the shelf. It's cl really close to this setup. There's a couple, couple things I've done on my video. It's got close to the same setup, except for they weren't Honda. I just, the, the tank, the tank mounting is what made me think of it. Yeah. The tank mounting might be a for this video. We might be removing that tank so I can dump it. Uh, it's not that hot. You can one bolt in the front. Right. On the side, I can't remember. Maybe it's just this one. And then two in the back. No, this one looks like there's only one in the back. Huh. Nope, two in the back. Uh, it's clean because uh, because I cleaned it. Uh, had an axle axle on the on the bottom here in the front, which wasn't supposed to be there. Uh, the previous owner had put on there, but it was just hose clamp to it, so that that's been welded on. Uh, both legs, that, uh, both legs that the the axle was mounted to, both of them are broken. The frame was busted. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Not for down far enough. Anyway, both frames busted here on both sides. Uh, molded that back in. Uh, what else could we do? Just touched it up, and like I said, uh, we just cleaned it off, and then it just sat there. Didn't do nothing, nothing at all with it. Get you on my new camera stand here, so it's a little bit easier to get in there, so you can see. Uh, just two ten millimeters here, and uh, let's get that carb off because I, I bet that I bet that's awesome. Smells like it's got a, it's a big gear, so 
Uh, so that's that ethanol smell, so it's probably just turn the mush off. Probably hasn't gone green like ethanol, but it's probably a probably pretty slimy in there, I'm gonna guess. Uh 10 millimeter here. Yeah. The video uh gonna be shot and posted the same day. If I can get it done. Oh my. If I get it done because I had to go up and do a gentleman's uh fix the gentleman's uh, zero turn. He's having issues with it. Ends up being there was some dirt in the bottom of the bowl. Uh fuel filter was original. Talking about uh fuel turn is probably 15, 20 years old. So the original and uh I think the we never diagnosed the I had a part on the deck that was bent down to the ground. I was digging a trench when I was trying to test drive it, so that fixed that. And uh, we think the ca gas cap vent might have went bad, so I told him to start spitting and sputtering the game, which is obviously a fuel issue. Uh, try opening the cap up and see if it clears up. If it is, take a 16 inch drill bit and just put a hole in it. He said it keeps it covered anyway, so. See if this comes off. Awesome. Oh. Good job. They pull them bolts on top too. Normally it's just the front too. But like I said, that's for the knockoffs. So there's another one up here. But when you knock off these Honda engines, they can do a pretty good job. So subtle differences like like that right there. That screw. So I think most of the phones are just the front two. This and that's gotta go off. She's a little crusty. Of course the tube had to come right out of the the valve cover for the the recirculation tube here for the gases. Usually usually they stay on the timber on the Valve cover and then the, the hose falls off the cover. Whew! Uh, hmm. I think we might uh, pause you for a second and blow this off with the air gun because I hate for some of this stuff to fall into the motor when I pull the carburetor away from the intake. Hang on. Alright, an air gun, a detail brush, and some car cleaner. We got it cleaned off some. I would not say it's something clean off to eat off, but it's, it's cleaner. Uh, I think I was thinking. There's no way to shut this fuel off except for this shut off. So as soon as I take this line off the valve, I'm going to get a, a quarter tank of uh, nasty on the, on the right here on the shop floor. I think we might put a pair of new little vice grips on here. Disconnect this. Get some of the fuel out of the tank. We're going to push one second. I'm going to get that line off because I really don't want to smell that stuff the whole video. Alright, we got that fuel line pinched off. Hopefully it doesn't start leaking. Get the carburetor off. Awesome. This uh that's a speech. Carburetor just get a tour. No, I'm I'm positive I have many more laying around. So Trying to find out where the spacer came from. Air filter. Alright. So I have only two linkages here. Return spring. Throttle linkage. Oh, we got a spacer. So I remember which way that spacer went on the left side of here. Yeah, you guessed it. You guessed it for. It's stuck pretty good. The rest of it's stuck over here. Yep. Uh, I'm going to guess this is a replacement carburetor. Here, here's the carb. Now, hang on one second. I'm going to pause you for a second. I'm going to get that gasket off. Alright, we put a new carb gasket on there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to tip you in here. Right there next to the pliers. There's a new, pair, there's a new carb gasket on it. Uh, went in our stash. And, uh, these are all the carburetors come with two gaskets. Most of the time you don't need them because... You don't know, rip the original, so anyway, I bring you back in one. 
see what's in this car. All right, sorry if the angle's a little funky there. Uh, as low as I get the camera stand. Looks like a 10 millimeter on the bomb. When you get the socket off this uh, snap-on magnetic mat. If there's anything in this thing, it should be it should be wonderful. Yeah, the screws already tell me it's wonderful. I think I'll probably reweight that screw is. Oh, this is probably a dandy on the inside of this. So this is facing towards the the drain the drain screw that somebody's supposed to take out of it when they're done using it. It's facing facing over here so you can get to it. Oh yeah, yeah that would have ran. Nope. Well, I'll be darned. Hmm. Look at this whole carb. That's amazing. I can't believe that the pin was loose. I thought it was going to be welded right in there. Even the needle's not welded in there. Phew. All right, I think we're gonna have to do some cleaning here and we'll bring you back. I have to get the Dremel out and the wire wheel to clean this out. Now, hang on. Here's what we're gonna use to clean, here's what we'll use to clean that off with. Uh, I have a couple different brushes. Anybody's got a suggestion of uh, where I can get Dremel brushes that don't fly apart so easy, the one from Amazon, forget about it. They just fall apart quick. Anyway, we're gonna clean this up. I clean this bowl out some and we'll bring it back when we're done. Let's see what's behind door number two. Oh, you got to clean up pretty good. Got the bottom of the carburetor cleaned up pretty well, too. Uh oh. Oh my. I might be looking for another carburetor on the shelf. I want to break it. I need to get that off because there's a sediment bowl in the bottom of this, and uh, by the sediment that was in the bottom of the carburetor, I'm gonna say this bowl needs to be cleaned out. Yeah. Hmm. Move just a touch. It's only aluminum. It's a problem. Might have to heat this a little bit. Problem is, I don't know what's in here. I don't know if it's a rubber seal or what. Let me hang on. Let me see if I can find a mini torch. Minimize the heat. I don't think I want to use the big one. Try a little heat on it. Like I said, I don't remember what's in here. I think it's a rubber seal, so. That, I'll burn myself. That's right where I'm gonna put my hand, so. Oh my. Alright, we're gonna bring it back. I'm gonna put this in the vice. Vice did it. I'm glad I took that apart. This thing is full of water. Yeah. Vice is behind you guys. The water in here. Yeah. Alright, let's clean this out. She is uh, clog solid between here and here. Solid. Uh, I'm gonna have to see if I can find a wire or something or take the, take the hole. Take the whole valve apart. Oh. See if we can get cleaned up with some maybe some carb cleaning and uh, bring you back. All right, I think we got our clean. As you can hear. Uh, still got to take care of this though. I got to get Dremel in there. I'll get that cleaned up.
pull the jet here. See how that is. I'll be darned. It's, it's actually clean. Yeah, I'm gonna still spray it with some uh, car cleaner here, but I can see through it. Yeah. I should get the emotion tube out, but that'll never happen. I can try. Usually you can't push down on them because you can't see them. Hmm. Nah. I don't think I'm going to push that out. I think we're going we're to leave the emulsion tube alone. Hope it's clear. Except said the jet was clear, so... Didn't have stuff sitting in. I think it uh, plugged that valve up and this dried up inside the carburetor. Back on. The o ring's still there for the bowl, for the sediment bowl. Worst comes to worst if it leaks up. Uh, I just pop that sediment bowl off and put a new o ring in it. Clean the fluid off a little bit with the wire wheel already. Needle looks good. Had some uh, like dust corrosion on there, but nothing, nothing major. Get my rubber, get my rubber hose here. We'll hook it up. It's working. Well, my O-ring, uh, or my gasket holds. So I have more of them, too. I'm trying to, we always try to do this with the minimum amount of uh, add-on parts because uh, I don't, I don't want to keep it, so I don't want to also have to jack the price way up because I had to put a ton of parts into it, so. We don't have to, I don't, I try not to. Alright, there she is, she's back together, she's cleaned off. I bet, alright. Bring you back over there and we'll get it back on. I think we're going to be removing the tank. I tried to take the, take the hose off and just to see what was going to come out of it. And it doesn't seem to be anything coming out of it. <laughs> I think it's just this bolt with two on the other side. Of course, the spark was right in the way. I think that's all it is, though. What else is spark going in the way? This one, I'm pretty sure it's that one back there. No, maybe it's this one. We'll find out in a second here. Either the front of this tank we get. No, right. there's two on the back here. I know it's gotta come off, so let me get these two off. I should check for spark wire. I was uh, doing stuff, but no, oh, got a little. This thing got a little oil pressure switch on it. We love them. Nope. And the got a lot of vibration. That might be it. A lot of vibration. A lot of times uh, the cause it to shut off. The one on the side is the one over there, but I 
Okay, no, this isn't it. It is not. Does not give me any quiet. Put that back in. I think these are holding the bracket that the tank is bolted to. I think it's that one down there at the bottom. This one. Watch this one. This will be a. We'll take, we'll take all the screws. No, it can't be that one either. That one's a pull there bowl. Ah. Back to the first one I, I thought of. Listen, no one's perfect. It's not like I fix Hondas every day. I just know what's coming. I'm gonna end up punching something with my knuckle and uh, we're losing some skin. It was the first one I won, like, I gave up too easy. Just see, because I did one of these not too long ago, and, uh, seems to be a whole same problem, though. The spark plug boots in the way. Here's the other one. Now, let's see. Oh, the fuel one will be the next one, too. This goes under the bracket. There. I feel a clamp on though. Oh, well, maybe there is. Might be spun to the top. Alright, we'll bring it back. I just gotta pull this line off the bottom. Alright, tank's off. After I took a flight, I'm about to pull the line. Fell out the other side. <laughs> hey, it happens. Thank God, I don't think there was enough fuel in there to do anything. There's enough fuel in this tank to get to the line. All right, we're gonna clean this out and bring it right back on. I put it back on. Just gonna show you the tank is is clean. She's uh she's clean. Took a a rag and uh, grab her and I put it into the top and I cleaned it all out. All the old fuel out. There's nothing in it. It's it's completely empty. So clean it all out. Took the air gun, blew it out. And we're gonna put it back together. All right, tank's back on. We just gotta get. Is it? Oh, spark plug. Got me. I'm putting back on because we'll be pulling back off in a minute to check it. Space is already in there. Oh, that's right. It's gotta be in the right spot. Two levers here. Air food. This uh, for sure, your collections would probably be the, about the best fun to get. I think I got it. He's back there behind that. He just takes on the exhaust gases out the, the valve covers and puts them into the carburetor. Anti pollution. More parts here. Tanks all clean. Reinstall. You gotta better line this top bolt up before I go cranking it too tight. If not, there won't be no uh, no play. The I need to move it before we get the bottom tight. I get all three started first and then tighten it down.
I'd like to get this out of my yard. You know, the next person might need it, but uh, I might check Amazon or eBay for that air filter cover. That's a, for what I'm going to charge for this thing. <laughs> it should make a difference, but now, but uh, I just don't like it without it. I hate to give some sell something that's incomplete because someone's going to go, well, there's no cover on the air filter. Well, yeah, okay, so don't run it outside in the rain. I mean, you get, it doesn't matter how cheap you put something, somebody's going to pick on it. And, and when you got it priced so low, I mean, I don't know how you can pick on it and try to get it lower. I mean, I've, I've, I've been in plenty of places where I bought stuff and uh, there was issues with it, but the price was so low that I, I had to suck it up by their cup and uh, just buy it. Well, now we get to fight with this gas cap again. Whoever designed this thing uh, to be shot. These, uh, this cup, there's a metal cup that's floating in here. Them two notches aren't lined up, you can't get the cap back in. Mm. This one, this one. This one's empty. You use this one. No, it's not an ethanol free, I can tell you that. This stuff got expensive. Considering uh, most of the time where you can get that's not free is very limited. Here is only one place, a place called uh, Stewards. I think the only reason they have it is because they're independently owned. They don't have some corporation telling them what to do, and uh, they just want to. Most of the landscapers like to use a. Uh, that's not for you, so I think it brings them into the business. That's on. I got a plug on the side here. I can check the check for fuel. I'm not sure if it's 5 16th or it's 10. Probably a 5 16th because I got a 10. All right. That should be fuel on. I'll be darned. Yep, fuel run on my finger. Smells okay. All right. I'm too familiar with this choke setup. Let's see. The same thing is choke. Oh, is this one? That's where the air was on the on the lever. So that I, I don't. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna put that off first of all. Only we'll to come over here. Looks like a 5 8 or 11 16 can pull that bar plug because uh nothing worse than uh pulling on a machine that you was assuming it's gonna start. Can't figure out why it won't start it's not fuel because I just checked the carburetor. You're thinking there's something in the carburetor is bad. Well it's the spark plug's no good. Oh there is no spark. It's in a funky angle. So, hang on a second. Alright, the plug's out. It's a BPR6ES. Like I said, this thing won't oil and get no spark either. Nothing. Switching backwards. Nothing. Check. I'm gonna check the oil. Let's park now. Bring it in here. Get down in there. I don't know if you guys can see it on there. But uh, moves over a little bit. Oh no, no tanks in the way. There. I can turn the lights off too. The oil safety switch is up. Uh, keep us from sparking. I'm going to try putting some oil in and see if, uh, see if I come back iron plugged. 
That was it. I put a little more gas in, or a little more oil in there. And that's got spark. It tells me two things. Either somebody changed the oil and it was low, or it burns a little bit. But it's a it's a small engine. If it burns a little bit, that's okay. The uh, safety switch will keep you from uh, seizing it up. This should be real fun to pull this over with the with the pulley hooked up to the chipper. <laughs> I have a, a smaller one of these. This one quite a bit bigger, and uh, it's fun to start. But I think that one uh, doesn't. That one uh, the motor's hooked right to the to the the teeth they chip, and then uh, the it looks like a Walmart blade that uh, does the leaves. So. That one might be a little bit harder to start. And this one, this one's got a centrifugal clutch on one side. I'll bring you over here. So I'll knock you over when I yank on this thing. You see? See what happened? Let's choke off. This says it's choke on. to shoot for the, the the chipper feed here but I'm not sure exactly where I might have put the shoot the shoot for the front I should have made sure there was nothing in it because uh now it's done uh throwing wood chips on my floor all right I'll grab you here back you up a little bit there it is That's what she looks like yeah he's throwing chips up the front here on the floor uh I swear I have a Problem is this thing sat here forever. I know I got another piece, which I think is this piece. The feed for the, but I had to fix it. But I don't know if I have anything else for the front. Seems to me there should be some kind of guard. There's two bolt holes here that keep the stuff down, but you know, it's, I don't know what they got to use the thing for. All right, hang on one second. Let me see if I get the other shoot. There's a feed shoot on I had it outside. This one had some, uh, it was pretty bent, so I had some damages I had to, had to fix it and then it's all it's only tacked together uh just to keep it i actually uh plug all the down the side and then was tacked here and there on the inside that's for your uh your branch feet so i don't think i had a piece on the front yeah i don't think it came along i'll have to look at look up a picture and see what it looks like maybe i can just fabricate one there you have it folks uh it runs not a bad looking machine Anyway, uh, that's how it is. Grab a wrench and uh, get up there and uh, give it a shot. I mean, it wasn't much to this one. Clean the carburetor out. It had some had some damage from water. Uh, can't say uh, maybe down the road it won't have some more issues. Like maybe the carburetor should be swapped out. But the only thing you're going to find is a cheap Chinese aftermarket carburetor. So we're hoping that uh, that one will hold off. So because it's probably much better. All right, we're going to pause a second and pick up some tools and we'll be back to do the ending of this video. There we go. We got the board back on top. We got we put a plastic bag on the carburetor because until we get a air filter cover, I don't want to leave it outside and uncover it. Uh, we're going to take a look at some pictures, see if we can see what this uh, thing looks like. It's just a deflector. It's, I'm guessing it's probably just a, a piece that sticks out and curves down. They just kick it to the ground so it doesn't fly out. It's not that it needs it, but uh, if I can fabricate it, we'll do it. So we'll end this video right here. Got any information on the video? Please like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Picture Eugene's Backyard Repair on both of them. Picture parts, projects, funny videos, things of nature, uh, screenshots, Drift Girl. If I can catch her on video, I'm driving the quad or the or the 
Anyway, uh, she came over with a dirt bike the other day, so uh, and we got some video of that, but they're all short, so I might just show them on my Instagram as shorts. Anyway, check out both of them. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you would. Give it a comment. Uh, comments help a lot. Thumbs up helps a lot. Uh, it doesn't cost you nothing to sign up for YouTube or Instagram uh, or my Facebook page. Uh, uh, you know, giving a comment or thumbs up isn't going to hurt. Just tell me what, maybe what you might want to see. Uh, I'm on Facebook every day, multiple times a day, looking and looking and looking and looking and looking and looking for the next project. Problem is with uh, four wheels don't fit in the garage. There's not enough room in here. Uh, I have to take out most everything. So uh, four wheels are a little bit hard. Dirt bikes, dirt bikes, eh. I get them and then, then they end up here riding, getting ridden by my son or even myself or other people because uh, it's not a big turnaround on dirt bikes unless they're two strokes. So, I mean, I don't mind working on them. I keep them. I get the TTR, I get the XR70R and I get the XR100R. So, you know, I'll keep them if I have to, but I, I just try to not get too many dirt bikes. I like to get rid of one before I get another one. So, uh, you know, you get, like I said, you guys' suggestions. Uh, let me know and put it in the comments below maybe something you might want to see me uh fix uh like i said it might take me a while to find it but uh, but if you suggest it i'll, I'll look you know I, i'll try to find it and hopefully it isn't something obscure that i can't get rid of when i'm done with it but if it is it is i got a couple snowboards outside i gotta work on i got the xr or the ttr 125 i still gotta put the back tire on that and chain and sprocket uh uh i might do it just to get a video out of it i don't really have to i got the tire i got the sprocket i got the chain uh, some oil seals just because I got them. Uh, I could I could sell it just like it is and let somebody else put them on because it's not going to add value to the bike. Unfortunately, it just doesn't doesn't work that way. Uh, sometimes even graphics don't add value to the bike. <laughs> just it's just a weird market. Uh, uh, so uh, like I said, uh, anything you want to see, uh, let me know in the comments below. And uh, you know we don't make money on YouTube, so so uh, you, uh, I'm not asking you for anybody's. Uh, money so I, I don't need i don't need anybody to pay me i don't my mom tells us don't take stuff for free if you don't have to i mean if it's family is family and if somebody a stranger doesn't want to take no for an answer you know obviously uh, i'll take it eventually but uh you know we were taught uh work hard for your uh, your money and uh youtube is uh hopefully uh, something to uh get into here i don't have the biggest subscriber base but i, uh, I like to thank all the ones that do and uh, hopefully we'll get up over a thousand by the end of the year and uh Maybe I can get a little kickback off of YouTube, but I'm not going to stop making the videos because I don't get a kickback. I'm going to keep making them. I'm going to keep putting out the videos. I'm going to keep showing you how to fix this stuff so you can do it on your own. Save yourself some money. And, uh, you know, that's the way it is and that's the way I am. All right, we're out of here. Peace! There she is. I got you in the old stand here. So the one leg, like, kind of likes to collapse. Like I said, it's a good engine. Uh, I, I, I'll probably put this up for 200 bucks. You know, the engine's worth 200 itself, and uh, you know, somebody will probably offer me 150, and it'll, it'll be it'll be going. Even with all the fabrication work I'll have to do if I want to put that chute on the end, uh, order a new guard, a uh, new air filter cover, or, or fabricate one. You know, I'll still have more time or more money into this, but uh, that's not what it's about. It's about uh, getting the stuff in, showing you guys how to fix it, and getting it back out so somebody else can, uh, you know, save themselves some money. All right, we're out of here. God bless. Peace.